Okay, today we're going to do um, an airbrush portrait of Rick Steves, just because he's funny and cool, and um, I'm the least likely to get a copyright infringement on someone like this, in case you're wondering why the hell I picked Rick Steves, even though he is pretty badass. Anyway, so I'm going to start with a layer mask with a skin tone. I have my palette here. Um, let's start with this skin tone here, and I'll show you how I do it and try to walk you through it. So I use airbrushing. I use this soft brush right here. It comes with um, Procreate. I have modified it a tiny bit to where it tapers like this, and you can do the same on yours. And so, yeah, first I just start off with, make sure it's on, it's on layer, a new layer here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, and we're just going to do all the areas that his skin is on here. I'm creating a mask right now. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly go around here to all the areas where his skin is showing. That sounds weird. And if some of you are coming here hoping that I had some cool short uh, like trick technique or something to do my airbrush portraits. Um, no, I apologize. These take kind of a long time. There's no, I don't do a little shortcut to get the way that I achieve them. I like to think that my airbrush portraits are pretty much the closest digital recreations of the real thing that there is um available and i really be drawing these motherfuckers going around usually i don't have like i just do a face so it doesn't take that long this one has like hands and stuff so it might take a little longer um so we're gonna go fill that in Let me get that a little bit better. Drag and drop. I don't know if y'all know that little th technique of the dragging and dropping. So this tutorial, I'm like kind of assuming that whoever's watching like pretty much already knows Procreate. Um, Cause this is not necessarily like a beginner level tutorial. Okay. So we have the mask. Then we're gonna start shading this bad boy in. Okay, so now I'm gonna select my mask here. Um, select, I'm gonna start a new layer and I'm going to Select a dark color here, and I'm going to start doing shading on this new layer. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually drawing just right over this where there would be shade, where there is shade. Uh, 
Um, I'm actually going to go darker right there. It's pretty much like a black where the nostrils are. Um, yeah, we'll go up in there. Get his eyes a little bit. We'll go back and do more of his eyes, but I'll do some here too. Get a little by his hairline. Then we're going to start with one of my tricks, which is a Gaussian blur. I'm just going to blur it just a little bit for now. Not too much. Maybe right around there. Okay. It's looking like that so far. Now I'm going to go do some highlights. New layer. I have this highlight picked out. Oops. And I would talk this whole time, but it's actually kind of hard for me to talk and concentrate at the same time. I don't know how other people do it, to be completely honest. But I'll try my best. Then we're going to go back and gauge and blur it. And take a look. So you can see we're making progress here. Okay, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to go do his teeth, his whole mouth. I'm just going to do this with white for now. I'll come through later and brighten these pearly whites up. But for now, we're just getting the general area. Then 
And we'll get this tongue area. I'm going to start a new layer and get some detail on his nose here. Okay, I'm gonna start a new layer and do his eyes. And I'm pretty much this whole time using the same size brush because I kind of like it like a large brush because if you were actually airbrushing this like you can't really go that fine so when your brush is like a little bit too big I guess it it makes it look a little bit better because it's like not perfect like it okay start a new layer let's get his eyebrows and glasses Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now I'm gonna do the hair, the um, shirt, and the binoculars next. <clears throat> um, and then, once I get all that done, then I finalize it. So for the hair, we make a mask, kind of like we did the first time. You're just getting like a general, like loose area of the hair. So we're just gonna outline it like so, get up in there, and yeah, get the fro going. After this, I'm going to go through and do the, um, <clears throat>
the dark parts of the hair. So make another layer. I'm not gonna go fully black because that would be aggressive. Let's get like a dark gray and just start doing those. Sorry, my hand's in the way. I'm gonna move that. There we go. And I'm not doing these ones like super fine or super perfect because this tutorial I'm like kind of rushing through and not making it like amazing like detail like I would say if it was for like a famous rapper where it has to be like totally perfect. Otherwise that rapper would <clears throat> get mad at me. You don't want you don't want rappers mad at you. Typically, because you know they got them choppers. I'm just gonna do it with white. Let's get his shirt. behind that layer so that we don't have to be too perfect. Oops, that's part of his binoculars. This is part of his shirt. Okay, now we're gonna throw in the highlights. We'll do a light blue. Add another layer. Throw in some highlights. This part's really fun for me. Maybe some right there.
Okay, now I'm uh, adding highlights to the binoculars here. So let's see where those will go. Add a new layer. I'm gonna do that in white actually. Okay, so right now I am going to add a new layer and I'm going to do like a highlight layer and just exaggerate where there would be highlights, um, even more so than there actually is in the photo, just because in portraits you can do whatever you want to do and when you add extra highlights, it just kind of makes it more dramatic than, say, just a normal old photograph. That's kind of the cool part about um, airbrush portraits or just like portraits in general. That's why they look cooler than photographs if people do them right, in my humble opinion. So we're going to do that. Um, let's add some to his ears. Right there. We are gonna blur it a ton. Now let's try overlay. There, it's more subtle. I'm gonna take the opacity down a little bit. Right about there. Cool. I'm going to do the same with shadows. I'm going to do a really dark shadow here. New layer. Okay, this part looks crazy, but I'm going to add a gradient map onto this. And this is messing with the colors so let's see do i have Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna add my script. So, let's just put my black, probably about that size.
I'm going to put the background behind him now. Um, and I'm going to go with like a green actually for once because I feel like green is like kind of, it looks like the world kind of, like he's like traveling the world. Green and blue, it's kind of worldly. Um, do I want some down below him? No. I'm running out of artboard here, so I'm gonna have to add some canvas. Cough and resize. Add some canvas. That's better. Okay. And I guess I'll try some down here. Okay, we have that color. Now, I'm gonna add a new layer. Do a little darker. I'm gonna show you how I do my bling bling stars. I make a circle. I add my blur to it. I'd say about there. And then I free form it. And stretch it out right about there. Duplicate it. Oops. Reset. There. I'm going to bring this to the top. Bring this to the top so I can look at it. We want those centered. Merge those. Make another right there. Gosh, and blur it. Try that again. Gosh, and blur it. Okay. Put these bling bling stars where you think they should go. Usually, actually, this part, once I get this far, I do the rest in Photoshop just because, like, clicking around with a mouse is actually easier than um, trying to transform these for me in here. Like, the transform in, um, Procreate it's kind of annoying, to be completely honest. Now I'm just going through and erasing, like, very subtly around this grain right here. So it adds a little glow. 